at the University of Leeds, it's really important to us that we help you to work out what a successful, meaningful and healthy future looks like for you. The employability team is here to support you every step of the way and we'll do things like directing you to the right opportunities, offering mock interview support appointments as well as checking our applications. We're trying to work hard to design a curriculum where we can encourage you to think about the range of skills that you're developing whilst you're also studying, but we're also trying to turn your attention to what you're learning whilst you're doing paid employment, volunteering, gaining work experience, and even being involved in extracurricular activities through the societies, for example. We have a whole team of dedicated careers staff who you can book a one-to-one -one appointment with. We offer that as a drop-in service, uh, mock interviews, or for students who perhaps are unsure about what they want to do, a longer guidance appointment with a careers consultant. We're here to help support students to achieve their ambitions both at university and beyond. As a member of the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Cultures, there's a number of opportunities you can get involved with. We offer placement years and students go to places like L'Oreal and Honda. You can do summer internships with the likes of Opera North. You can also volunteer and we have partnerships with heritage organisations throughout the region. So if you came to the School of Fine Art, History of Art and Cultural Studies, you're likely to come out with a range of very broad critical skills, skills that will enable you to approach the world in which you're living in with a critical reflective approach. You'll come out with a range of theoretical ideas which will enable you to understand the framing of the world in which you live in and the historical past. You're going to also acquire a set of practical creative skills such as learning how to paint or sculpt but also film and video, sound, sound recording, even music and social media. We have students who go into the heritage sector. They might end up working for museums like the Victoria and Albert Museum or the British Museum, Tate Modern or Tate Britain. Or they might go and work for more independent artist-led organisations such as the Tetley in Leeds or the Icon in Birmingham. We've also got students who want to go and work in the media and they end up working in companies like Channel 4 or independent companies for TV, social media or radio production. And we also have students that actually take these skills, these creative, innovative, flexible skills into jobs which have really nothing to do with art, but actually they go and work for companies like L'Oreal or Google or Adobe and they're taking all of these transferable skills into a whole range of other jobs where they might work in the fields of marketing or promotion for example. And we also have students who go and work in the third sector, they want to work in charities across a whole range of different subjects, whether they be youth or sustainability environment. And what I like to say is, no matter what job you go on to do after you've left the School of Fine Art, History of Art and Cultural Studies, you'll always go into those jobs with a very particular way of critical and reflective thinking. <laughs>